still at Porto Stronka 2015. We have landed at Spitzenberger uh, with Peter Mock. This is an impressive test uh, panel, Peter, with... I, I, I smell a lot of amps here somehow. I see, you know, circuit of wire diameters, two and a half meter, millimeter squared, etc., down to one, one millimeter squared. So it looks like it has to do with electrical supplies in homes or also in, in factories and, and automated ap applications. Yes, uh, both uh, possibilities are uh, available at this test bench. We have uh, this household appliance uh, uh -huh. units yep. and household appliance units up to 2.5 uh, square millimeters uh, in the diameter and, and how, up to... How many amps are we talking, Peter, roughly? On here this can drive up to 75 amps. Yes. Okay. And uh, we have a similar test bench for higher uh, currents, uh, mm -hmm. for industrial appliances mm -hmm. up to 125 or mm -hmm. 200 amps. Mm -hmm. This is also possible. And what we are testing here is uh, uh, the characteristic of these uh, safety units. Okay. Everybody yep. knows these safety units. Uh, controlling the maximum current flowing flow inside a household or it inside. has to be defined exactly and it has to be a very exact and safe and reliable Correct. trip point yes and there is it's not safe. Yeah, no. there are two tripping points one magnetic which okay. is uh, defining the speed of interaction mm -hmm. and uh, the other is the thermal uh, mm -hmm. tripping thermal tripping is uh, giving you the possibility after a certain mm -hmm. hour of uh, taking out the maximum energy it has to trip otherwise the heat the cabling system will be too okay. hot okay. for a yeah. safe uh, interaction which which parameter magnetic or heating has has the priority in this measurement in terms of when the circuit breaker is actuated there is no priority because both possibilities are uh, in reality okay. uh, a phenomena so okay. yep. both have sure. to be tested and there is no difference in priority yeah. and you have developed a, a test screen a test procedure for the, the circuit breakers, which han handles the test uh, automatically. Does it produce a test protocol? Yes, of course. We have a uh, control of, uh, these are six different test panels. Uh, it's computer controlled, mm -hmm. very easy to handle because you just use a scanner. Ah. You can go for the QR code, yep. newer models of the Circuit breakers have a QR code ah, printed they on. Are recognized. So you just uh, select test bench and you select test parameter. The data comes from the database and the test can run automatically. Here on the screen all the test results are accumulated yes, and presented in correct. neat columns for, 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 for our guests, for, for test engineers to work out and to evaluate. Yes, of course. And it's also possible uh, the evaluation data is stored in a database format so okay. that can be exported and yep. uh, uh, evaluated afterwards for mm -hmm. a summarize uh, of all the yep. tests and uh, any other things. Even all the parameters of the different units are stored in the database. You can select mm -hmm. it either by the QR code or even by selecting it from the database. Yeah. What is the typical response time, Peter, of, of a cir circuit breaker? Is that, is that possible to define in, to, in a kind of range? Uh, are we talking, the, talking milliseconds? Yes, uh, the magnetic release is in milliseconds uh, range and it's depending on the type of the circuit breaker. So okay. yeah. uh, this is what we are really parameterizing with uh, going as close to the tripping mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. and going back mm -hmm. and testing is it still working or is it going yeah. over the tripping yeah. time and then it has to trip. So okay. this is a very close and very uh, sharp uh, definition of the mm -hmm. test sequence. Yep. And the long time test sequence is uh, what you specify half an hour, one hour, and uh, is uh, the thermal uh, development of the cabling system. Do you do sample testing of the circuit breakers? You, you, you take circuit In breakers from a production bench, line, this test plug, bench, plug yes. them on, and have them tested. Yes, and this is a laboratory test mm -hmm. bench for uh, uh, accompanying uh, the development and the production. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are really mm -hmm. sticking out several yeah. <laughs> parts of the production and testing them again. Mm -hmm. But we have the similar system for production line testing so that okay. each uh, breaker is tested. Each, each one, so individually? Each one individually. Okay. It's an automated system yep. so with uh, robotics inside and uh, uh -huh. uh, air uh, pneumatic tools inside to automatically pick. contact, to pick yep. the tool, to contact Brilliant. the yep. tool and uh, going on so high frequent uh, testing. So of all everything this. with security in mind, 
electrical safety and security yes, in mind. Yes. Are these the power supplies you are using? These are the power supplies. Yes. Mm -hmm. These are current amplifiers. They can drive mm -hmm. uh, high currents up to 3000 amps, mm -hmm. depending on uh, the voltage. Yeah. But in this case, no voltage is necessary because the current is tested. Yeah. So therefore, we have also a combination of voltage and current sources okay. so that yeah. we can uh, do more flexible tests. But mm -hmm. this is not for production, this is for laboratory. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Peter, thank you very much for your uh, description of your test bench for cir for circuit breakers, yeah. which has some really remarkable <laughs> characteristics. I think yeah. you never think of when you're in your home and, and enjoying the electrical safety about the importance of a circuit breaker. Yeah, it's very important. There is a lot yeah. of technology behind. Yeah, it's it's underrated component. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.